Previously recorded on All Rise. Michael K as a comment, uh, uh, an announcer, a play-by-play -play guy, to me is one of the goats. I I look up to Michael K in that regard. I've told him that personally, face to face. He gave me some great feedback, which I haven't listened to, as you can tell by my voice. He told me basically, hey, look, when you're not calling games, just try to shut up. And, uh, you know, I don't take advice like that very well. I can't shut up. So, again, I'm learning sign language just in case. But, opinion-wise, Michael K is fitting the bill that fans are giving him as a company man. He just is. Just listen to these comments, guys. Listen to these comments. I mean, I don't know how else to put this. These are so bad. Let's just get to it. Let's get to it. Let's play it here. Here we go. And we're in the middle of Domino's, brought to you by London Jewelers. Now, Anthony Volpe, uh, he has not hit his stride yet. He, he continues to get on via the walk, but he has not been pounding out base hits. He's made all the plays in the field. But he's ch the, when he comes up late in the game, they're chanting Volpe, Volpe, Volpe. <laughs> so I think it's it's what we've talked about before. Homegrown Yankees get a longer leash. And not that not that anybody should be booing him anyway. Please don't interpret it that way. But if Anthony Volpe, I think he has two hits, which he had on Saturday. If Aaron Hicks had two hits in four games and then was 0 for 3 yesterday, you know what would happen? He would have gotten booed. Oh, my God. So once you're in the crosshairs, I'm telling you, it's hard to get out of it. You can you don't get a hit. Fair point. But again, I just want to I want to make a delineation. He wasn't he wasn't, you know, being and moaning here. He was just he was just yes, saying was. I'd rather start. No, but no, he, right. wasn't. he hasn't earned Read that the right. Comments. Hicks hit no, two ninety three, by the way, in spring training. And Oswaldo Cabrera, a refreshing kid, everybody loves him. Homegrown Yankee. He's struck out half the times he's been up this year. <laughs> Six strikeouts and twelve at bats, although he does have three hits. You, you know, Hicks gets another off. chance today. So let me give you um the Yankees. And what did he do, Michael? What did he do? He shit the bed. How the fuck, and excuse my language, do you compare Aaron Hicks to Volpe and Cabrera? I mean, if this is not propaganda, I don't know what to tell you. I never call for somebody to be fired, and I'm not going to call for somebody to be fired here. But tune out of this show. I, I got to be honest with you. Continue to make those ratings come down. This might be one of the dumbest, most idiotic comments in the world. And the reason fans call this guy a company man, folks, is because, listen to it. What would you call that? Logic? Knowledge? No. Wait a second. You think Michael K is stupid? Do you think Michael K is dumb? No. Michael K is not a dumb guy. Michael K has seen more baseball than the majority of us in here. Michael K, I will put my hand on fire and tell you, Michael K knows his baseball. This is grade A propaganda from the men paying you. My man compared Aaron Hicks, who has, what is it, four or five shit years in a row with the New York Yankees. Let me rephrase this. Four or five shit years. Not at bats. Years. He compared him to Anthony Volpe. And Oswaldo Cabrera struggling to a degree in their first 10, 15 at-bats. The fact that he even said this is shocking. The fact that you could hear yourself saying it 
and not go back and go, what the fuck am I doing? Hold on a second. Something's wrong here. He went through with it. He followed through with this. What is going on here? Let's get to the next voicemail. <laughs>